Okay, uh, now that the mill's all mounted, uh, I got the plywood in here for the bucket and other things I'm going to stick under here, maybe an air compressor or something. Um, I finished grinding this off and filing it off so it'll fit inside the drain hole there. And, uh, and I got all the parts that I need. I got the, the drain and some silicone to install it. Uh, I got my uh, water pump. This is just a pond pump. Uh, this is a 264 gallon per hour. I think it was like $16. Uh, that was at uh, Harbor Freight. And I got a tail, what's called tail pipe that goes on the bottom of the drain. And I got a couple of 45s. Since it's back in the corner, I need to offset into the to the bucket. Uh, I thought these all had holes in the, in the top, but I guess they're just pink buckets. So there's no actual hole. I'll have to make a hole in there. And I've got my uh, water line here. And I've got some filter mesh. Uh, to try and strain out more of the, uh, uh, the filings and stuff. Uh, this is kind of like a little basket strainer on it, but um, I'm going to play around with what works on that. Uh, I may do some kind of filter thing inside. Um, and, uh, all right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silicone caulk around the corner here. Usually on a on a sink you use a plumber's putty um, but I'm gonna I'm afraid that's not gonna seal well enough with it's not really the edges are kind of a little uh, not that great here with the uh, fiberglass and all so I'm just gonna silicone it in uh, so I'm just gonna this is a hundred percent pure silicone that I'm using pretty pretty good amount on there it'll probably be a little more difficult to remove later if I need to remove it but oh well alright drop that in there And get a rag, clean my fingers. And I'm going to take the uh, the washer and the fiber washer and the nut on the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of smooth the silicone out around here. Okay, that takes care of the drain there. Okay, well I don't have any real decent way of doing this making this hole in here so I'm just gonna this is the tailpipe that's gonna go into the bucket so I'm just gonna trace this out here and I'm just gonna use a utility knife put a hole in there
not beautiful, but it works. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit, but... Alright, there we go. Now I just need a hole for the cord for the pump. We'll just sit down inside here like this. And I actually need a hole for the pump and for the uh, water line. That's going to come out of, out of here. So I'm going to make a hole big enough for both of those, I guess. Okay, another cut another hole here. Uh, just need to have it big enough for the for the cord to go through the cord end like that. So, all right. Okay, I took the tail piece and I basically cut it really short and then I attached this 90 right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where my 90 is gonna, no, sorry my 45. I'm gonna figure out where my 45 is here and uh, kinda hard to do this while you're holding the camera but I'm basically gonna take the uh, the other short piece here, hold it up to there figure how long it needs to be to uh, go right over the bucket right there and uh, cut that piece and um, and then cut another short piece that's gonna go out of the bottom here straight into the bucket so okay and there it is all plumbed up into the end of the bucket there and uh, basically of course if you want to be able to uh, remove it to remove the bucket, basically you just have to take that off, pull this down, and pull the bucket out like that. Uh, there might be easier ways to do it, but I don't know, this seems to be relatively simple, so... Alright, uh, next thing I need to do is uh, mix the uh, water and uh, get the pump down in there and get the wires run up and... Right. Okay, well I got a brass fitting uh, that fits into the opening here. I think it's like a three quarter and uh, that actually has a reducer down to, I believe it's three eighths and quarter inch here. Don't quote me on those dimensions, but uh, and that goes into a quarter inch line here. I put Teflon on the threads inside here and actually I screwed this one to here first with two wrenches and then screwed that one in there. Um, I put this through the uh, the bucket hole first before I did all that and I'll drop this into the bucket. Alright. Okay, so that's all set to go. Uh, actually, I'm going to add the, uh, the the water and the uh, the cool mist. Uh, I'm using cool mist formula 77 cool a uh, mist spray coolant. Um, so I'm going to mix that in. I think it's uh, four ounces with one gallon of water. So I'll get that uh, all mixed up in here, right? Okay, so I got the coolant in the bucket and I've got the line run up to the mill here. And uh, 
as you can see, I uh, just brought this line up here. Uh, these are quarter inch fittings on here. Um, these are um, uh, lock line. I got this stuff at uh, Granger's. The, the orifice I got was actually too small, so I just kind of cut it off. Uh, it was like uh, the, the, the water stream was too small. I just wanted more flow. Um, so I got a little valves on here to control it. Um, so, alrighty, well, I've got the, I had to use an extension cord to reach up here uh, to plug it in, but, uh, oh, there's Oliver. Um, so, let's see. So I guess I'm all ready to, um, plug this in here. Uh, let's see. That seems to be working pretty good there. I'm gonna put on and mill in the hair. And I pointed at where the bit is, where it's going to be cutting there. All right, well, that seems to work pretty good. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the drain portion is uh, working pretty good. Uh, when I turn it off, it does pool a little bit, but uh, very little in some small areas. But uh, I guess the next thing I need to do is uh, figure out how I'm going to uh, cover the motors and the limit switches, because definitely don't want to get those wet. In fact, the motor's getting wet right there, so I'm definitely going to have to figure out something, to figure out what I'm going to do for uh, covering those, but... Uh, all right, well, that's uh, basically this portion of setting the well. I guess you could say the covering the uh, the motors is part of the coolant system, but I think I'm going to uh, cover that on a different video. So, Okay, cool. Well, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, one other thing I would would like to mention is the uh, the water's actually puddling up in here so I don't know I guess I gotta go on and find on uh, YouTube what people are doing about that I've just been using a shop vac to vacuum it out uh, looks like I have a little bit of a ridge I guess when I fiberglassed it there's a bit of a ridge right here so that's kind of a bummer but I could just kind of push it off there Suppose I could try to uh, sand it down and refinish it or something so it isn't so high. Um, but uh, besides that little thing right there, there's a little bit right there. A little more angle probably would have been better. Uh, but uh, but for the most part, you know, the water goes down. I can dry it out or I can use an air hose for now. But but uh, if anybody's following this yeah, you might want to make the uh, the angle a little make it a little steeper uh, I just didn't want to lose too much of the support for this for this mill but uh, all right